So every week on Sasha Baron Cohen's Who is America on Showtime, he always manages to dupe politicians into saying something completely absurd, and certainly this episode was no exception. He got Trump supporters to agree to doing things that were, we'll just say, peculiar. So I won't spoil the entire episode for you, but I think that the most newsworthy clip that came out of the program this week had to be just some good old-fashioned trolling. And this week, his latest victim was this dipshit, Roy Moron. And as you'll recall, Roy Moore is a failed Alabamian politician and accused pedophile. Now, he was talking to Sasha Baron Cohen's Israeli military character about why Alabama is a state that's an unequivocal supporter of the state of Israel. And Cohen told him about innovative new technology that's coming out of Israel. And one piece of said technology was a wand that is able to d detect a particular enzyme found only in perverts. <laughs> So you kind of see where this is going. Now, Cohen's character explained how this device was used to protect children from perverts. And this is what happened next. Simple to use. You just switch it on. And because uh, neither of us are sex offenders, then it makes absolutely nothing. You just put it on. You put it nearby. Wait, this, this is obviously a problem. Hold on. Hold on. It must be faulty. Uh, sorry, is this your jacket? Yes. Uh, did you lend the jacket to somebody else, maybe? No, no. I've been married for 33. Sure. And never had an accusation of such things. I am not accusing you at all. This is well, not... Well, then, if this is an instrument, I that certainly I'm not a pedophile, okay? No, but the machine is... The well, machine I don't works. know. The, maybe Israeli technology hasn't developed properly. This is 99.8% accurate. Well, it is not know. saying that you are a pedophile, of course not. I am simply cutting this conversation right now. No, no, Thank no. Thank you. I... <laughs> this is quickly becoming my favorite show on television just because for someone as disgusting both politically and personally as Roy Moore to see him trolled in just a genius way like that it honestly warmed my heart <laughs> so um I don't really have much to say about this particular clip I honestly just wanted to show it to you because I like shitting on Roy Moore I think he's one of the more disgusting examples of Republican Party extremism and just, you know, how far the party has fallen as a whole. Now, what's interesting is that Roy Moore was very defensive for obvious reasons. He said that he's never been accused. He's been married for 33 years, but you have been accused, not just by one individual or two individuals, but by multiple individuals who said you preyed on them when they were as young as the age of 14, which is absolutely just disgusting and perverted. So, of course, it was the case that, you know, he didn't like that this supposed pervert wand detected that he was, in fact, a pervert. Now, I don't get how he actually believed that this wand was somehow something that worked. It reminds me of that scene in The Office where um, Jim sent Dwight Gadar, which is a wand that you wave over people and it beeps if it detects that they're gay. This is really what... I was reminded by when I saw this clip, it was just, I mean, I don't get how, <laughs> how you can think that this actually works. And maybe it was the case that he didn't think this worked. Uh, maybe he knew it was bullshit, hence why he left and kind of, you know, maybe the red flags went up in his head and he knew he was being trolled and like other dipshits who were on this program. But either way, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Now, ever since this aired, Roy Moore hasn't actually said anything in response to what happened on the program. However, before the episode aired, he wasn't too happy about it, knowing that he was the victim of a prank. So according to TMZ, Moore said even before it aired, he would consider suing Showtime if it airs a defamatory attack on my character. He also dismissed Cohen's comedy as trickery, deception, and dishonesty. So really, his response is in line with what other people said. I know that there were rumors that Jason Spencer, the uh, state lawmaker that bared his ass on the last episode, I did a video about this, he also reportedly threatened to sue Cohen. There's been other 
Republican politicians that threatened to sue Cohen. We know that um, Sarah Palin was not too happy about being duped. So this is kind of the typical response, uh, but I'm certainly expecting him to... <laughs> to dupe some more politicians over it. um all that i've seen from this show has been absolutely hilarious he even makes fun of liberals he has you know a hillary supporting character which is kind of an sjw which is also hilarious so look he he pulls no punches but for the most part he really does a great job at revealing just how crazy the republican party is and in this instance he didn't necessarily get roy moore to say anything any more insane than he already says pretty frequently, but he certainly made a fool out of Roy Moore, and if anybody deserves to be made fun of, it's Roy Moore. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.